Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be discussing about user acceptance testing versus system testing. What are the key differences which we can see while performing UIT as well as system testing? The first key differences is the main purpose. What is the purpose of UIT and what is the purpose of system testing? The UIT purpose is to ensure software meets the expectation of the end user. That is the main purpose of doing user acceptance testing because this is done by end user. While system testing which we normally do to verify whether system really works or not as per the requirement specification that is done by the software testers as part of system testing. And the next uh, key difference is user acceptance testing is normally done by the end user but system testing will be done by the functional tester or a software tester. And the next one is the timing as well is very important. Normally user acceptance testing is done after system testing is done and before we are deploying into the production environment. That is when the user acceptance testing is going to be executed. But system testing will be done after integration testing but before user acceptance testing. And the next one is the scope, the overall scope of UAT. The overall scope of UAT normally we do is we are going to cover requirements, usability testing will be covering business processes, testing will be covering as part of user acceptance testing. But as part of system testing, we will be covering functional, non-functional as well as technical aspects of the system is also going to be validated as part of system testing. And the next one is what is our main focus of user acceptance testing is we are emphasizing on the real world scenarios that will be dealt by the end user or user of the application plus the workflows also will be executing as part of this user acceptance testing. But in system testing, we are more concentrating on the technical aspects as well as system behavior as part of system testing. And the next one is environment. The user acceptance testing, in user acceptance testing, we are normally conducting the software testing as a, we normally do UAT in a production environment. But in system testing, which is uh, similar to the production, but we are trying to simulate data in a controlled testing environment in system testing. And the next one is the expertise. Normally the user acceptance testing uh, will be done by the end user. You may not be well versed with the testing concept, testing expertise. Uh, only thing is he possesses domain knowledge and based on that he will be performing user acceptance testing. He, he required certain guidance from the testing team as well in order to complete the overall system. Uh, overall uh, user acceptance testing but system testing will be done by the testers who is having a technical expertise and also they follow the rigorous testing procedures and methodologies so that uh, we can uh, do the things as planned and the next one is the test cases normally the user acceptance testing test cases are based on the user stories scenarios or business processes but here in system testing Test cases are derived for based on the system requirements as well as design specification. And the next key difference would be defect reporting. The user in, in user acceptance testing defects are reported by the end user. They are focusing on the real world impact and usability point of view. But during system testing, so we will be focusing on the functional correctness as well as technical issues. And, and in terms of Test automation, user acceptance testing, we are concentrating on testing the end user perspective. Here we are not much having emphasis on automation because of the lack of resources. We will be concentrating on end user scenarios through some repetitive tasks may be automated if they have bandwidth with the user acceptance team. The system testing uh, we are more focusing on emphasizing on completely on automation because especially uh, while executing the regression testing is a big challenge hence it is always advisable to have uh, automation for system testing and the next one is acceptance criteria during performing user acceptance testing acceptance criteria are defined by end user based on their expectation 
while system testing acceptance criteria will be defined based on the system requirements and technical specification which we defined in our design documents and the overall feedback for user acceptance the overall feedback for user acceptance testing is provided uh, valuable feedback for improving software usability as well as functionality but here yeah, in terms of feedback perspective we will be getting feedback for system behavior functionality and technical aspects and another aspect another key difference is risk coverage in user acceptance testing the emphasis of coverage of user related risk and business critical scenarios while in system testing we are emphasis on the coverage of system related risk functional requirement risk as well as technical risk as part of system testing so these are the some of the key differences between user acceptance testing versus system testing